Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve separable differential equations and the examples we're doing today have the uh, natural log involved. All right, so as the name implies separable differential equations, it means that we can separate our variables. We want to get dy or any part of the equation associated with the y variable on one side and we want to get dx and any part of the equation associated with the x variable on the other. So the first thing you're going to want to do is bring your dx to the other side, okay? In other words, multiply both sides by dx, okay? And then if you have a variable associated with y or a part of the function, you can move that over. In this case, we would divide both sides by e to the minus y. So that would give me over here dy over e to the minus y, and over here 3x squared dx, okay? And now I'm just going to simplify this by bringing it out of the denominator, moving it to the numerator, and that's just going to change the sign on my exponent. And now once I have the equation separated per se with y variable dy on one side and the x variable and x on the other, then I can just integrate both sides, okay, in order to solve it. So over here, when I'm integrating, I have the derivative, which is just dy. The integral of e to the x or e to the y is just e to the y, okay. Over here, I have dx, so I'm good there, and the integral of 3x squared would yield 3 x cubed over 3. Notice that these would cancel. And whenever I integrate, I've got to add the coefficient, okay? And so this would become e to the y. I can subtract the x cubed each side, and that would be equal to my constant, c. All right, so that's our first example. Let's look at a different example. And now for this one, we've got to know a little something about secant, okay? But again, my first step is going to be the same. I'd move this over, okay? I'm going to have to divide both sides by the secant of x, okay? And then the other thing I want you to see is whenever we have add exponents, we can break it up into, this would be e to the y times e to the sine x. Remember, when we multiply exponents with like bases, we add the exponent. So since y plus sine of x, we can break it up in e to the y times e to the sine x. All right, let's look at what we would have left. Well, we would need to divide both sides also by e to the y, right? Because we've got to move that over here, okay? So over here, we would have dy over e to the y. We just move this over by dividing both sides by e to the y. And over here, we would have e to the sine x all over secant x, right, divided both sides by secant, and then our dx, okay? But again, we have to know a little something about the secant of x. One over the secant of x is actually the cosine of x. So here I'm going to write this as e to the minus y dy, that's, okay, all I did was bring my uh, e to the y out of the denominator by changing the sign on the exponent. And here, one over secant of x is actually equal to the cosine of x, okay? Again, that's that identity that you need to know. So here we would have e to the sine of x, cosine x dx. And now to integrate e to the x, it's just e to the x, but we need to have the derivative of this part. So the derivative of minus y is negative 1, so we need to multiply by a negative 1 here, okay? So that's good. when I integrate this, is going to be minus e to the minus y. And the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is going to be my derivative here. So the integral of e to the sine of x is just e to the sine of x, and then plus some constant, okay? And now cleaning this up a little bit, I'm just going to subtract, sorry, e to the sine of x each side, that would be equal to c1. And now if I wanted to, I can factor out a negative 1. Okay, and C1, but now if I want to get rid of it, I can multiply both sides by negative 1. In other words, this sign would just get absorbed into this constant. So my final answer would be e to the minus y plus e to the sine of x equals just some constant C. All right. Well, I hope this helps. That's two examples. Again, the key is to separate them and then integrate both sides. If you need more help, just let me know.